something or other. This is Big John Greer. It's Bottle It Up and Go.
It's a great number. It was um, the version I really like is by a lady called Priscilla Bowman with the Jay McShann band or orchestra. It's called Hands Off. <laughs> Keep your hands off of the girl. He don't belong to you. 
It's the rock and pneumonia and the boogie woogie flu. Thank you. All right, here's a, 
an old blues tune by a lady called Madonna Martin. I don't know what happened to her. I don't think she had as much plastic surgery as this one. Mind you, I wouldn't say no if I could afford it. Or maybe not that much. It's called The Rattlesnake and Papa. It's about a special kind of snake with one eye. We've got a couple of very special guests. We will welcome then to the stage another son of Croydon. Uh, oh wait, are you from Croydon? Another son of Croydon. And another son not of Croydon. But this one's called Lucky Number 13 for all you superstitious cats and kittens. So what if I walk under 
music and blues alive and kicking and also I'm deeply honoured to invite to this uh, stage the legendary guitar player Mr. Pete Faruja. that's right 
And they're going to join us on uh, this song, My Babe.
pretty good, that one. Alright, here's a song by a lady called Anne Cole. She did the original version of I Got My Mojo Working. But this isn't that, this is her other song. One of her other songs, it's called I Got Nothing Working Now But My Real Old Fashioned Love.
Sings it with me, but uh, I'm just gonna do it with me and Mal, me and that guitar.
open your eyes. safe to say in Croydon. This is called Up My Street. Astonishingly brilliant singer, incredible songwriter, harmonica player, just all round talent, massive talent, and um, vastly underrated during her lifetime. And uh, it's, it's a shame, is what it is, at the minimum. This is They Call Me Big Mama.
Thank you. It's worth it. It's worth it coming all the way up from North London for this. All right, this is uh, uh, one of the new ones we just recorded, and we recorded it as a duet with um, the very brilliant Big Joe Lewis, who I'm sure you know. Um, it's going to be a double A-sided single, and it's going to be out on Folk Records, uh, and it's at the pressing plant now, so hopefully we'll see it by the end of May. Uh, this is called Good Morning Midnight, featuring Mr. Mal Barker of the time. Thank you. 
This is the first song I think I ever wrote uh, long, long time ago, before the war. Uh, and uh, and I, at that time I was, um, I was uh, allowed to, I was doing guest vocals with a band called Sugar Ray Ford and the Hot Shots. And um, that was a long time ago, jeez. And uh, yeah, so this is the first time I sang this song on stage with them. Uh, and it's called Miss Frigidaire. <laughs>
songwriting there's like two main threads one is like really shit men and one is like really good looking men so we're on the good looking man tip now we've got good looking bloke part one and part two the first one is about a man who's so good looking so good looking it's enough to make a grown woman cry <laughs> yeah, I've never seen a man kind of go, it's me before when I've said that. Never before. This is a really, truly unique experience. Yeah, for a minute there, I thought you were a young Bob Mitchum. Or young Paul Newman. It's kind of my criteria. Young Marlon Brando, too, I'll take that. Alright, so this is uh, Make a Grown Woman Cry.
it tonight. We've come to the last number, I'm afraid. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Last number, the Um But before we do that, I want to uh, introduce you again to the A team. 50% Croydon, 50% I know not what. But anyway, first of all, the wonderful, the incredible Mr. Al Nichols on saxophone. Yeah. He's Welsh, unfortunately. It's not bad, it's not bad. And then there, son of Croydon, on the drums there, beating out that rhythm, hitting everyone with his rhythm stick, Mr. Brian Neville! Here, <laughs> here, groovy, groovy, Croydon boy. His dad's in the audience, I do believe, also very groovy, Croydon boy. And uh, Mr. the wonderful Mr. Jamie Lawrence on bass. <laughs> Not least on the left hand of God, Mr. Mal Barkley on guitar. I myself, I'm just some random bird they found in a skip. All right, here's a song by a lady called Alistine Allen. It's not Fujiyama Mama, I prefer her version, I've got to say. Uh, this is a song called Take a Chance on Me. You know the ABBA song, Take a Chance on Me? Yep. It's not that. <laughs> Thank God, eh? Thank God. Yeah. All right, Take a Chance on Me is our last song. Thank you so much to all the crew here, uh, especially our sound man. He's somewhat distracted, he can't even hear me. Look, he's on his phone. He's on his phone, look, he's on his phone. Like, all clear around the corner there. You're right, he's important. Bye. He's probably doing cryptocurrency, he's that age. And thank you to all the staff here, thank you to all of you that came out tonight, we really appreciate it, we've had a fabulous gig, thank you. Uh, we'll be back in December, ho ho ho. Yeah, I can save it for my presents by then. I want a Cadillac. <laughs> uh, here we go then, come in Mr. Al Nichols.
1930s, just to prove that they didn't invent sex, drugs, and rock and roll, young people. It's by the Memphis Jug Band, and it's called the Cocaine Habit Blues. I am in no way condoning this kind of drug taking. However, it's a good song. Thank you. 